Let's work through an example or two of these infinite integrals or integrals at infinity. I guess I should say example one, the integral from three to infinity of one over the square root of x dx. I know it can be a little tedious, but we ought to use correct notation. That's a big thing in mathematics. So make sure you always write the limit properly. And now we will take this definite integral and then we'll take its limit. But first, what is this definite integral? Well, I hope we can take the antiderivative pretty easily. This is x to the negative one half. So it bumps up by one and then we divide by one half. So we've got the limit as c goes to infinity of twice the square root of c minus twice the square root of three. As c goes to infinity, so does the square root of c. And infinity minus a finite number is infinite. So this limit is infinite and this integral diverges. That's dive, sorry, I don't know why it goes out of focus sometimes, but let's dive right in to an improper integral that converges. The integral from negative infinity to negative two of one over x squared. Again, we make sure we use our proper notation. This is a limit. It should be written as such. And now We'll compute this definite integral and see what we see. The antiderivative is negative one over x from c to negative two. So when we stick those limits in and subtract them, we get positive one half. This negative sign and this negative sign cancel. Plus, again, negative signs cancel, one over c. Now, as c goes to negative infinity, 
one half is a constant. One over C goes to zero. So this limit exists. This integral converges. And more than that, we can say what it converges to the sum, not the sum, the integral is one half.